So many have fought for our freedom and given their lives in the process. Today on Memorial Day, we honor the legacy of every man and woman who has put on the uniform and made the ultimate sacrifice. There's one local Army veteran who's making sure his place of work honors every service member lost every single day. And Kent takes us to this veteran-owned business built on the memories and honor of those who have served. Kent. Yeah, it's called Battle Born Customs. It's a shop specializing in restoring anything with an engine into something that will breathe new life into the vehicle and the person who owns it. This business hopes to build more than just cars and motorcycles. It hopes to build dreams and family. My experience in the military, it, tra it taught me stability in the worst of times. It taught me to stand tall when everything else is falling apart. Army veteran Aaron Beverly suffers from post-traumatic stress. What about that? But making someone else's life better through the vehicle restoration work he and business partner Dave Olcott do has been therapy. It's hard. But it's getting easier and easier. Aaron joined the Army as a weapons specialist, then served during Operation Desert Shield, earning several combat medals. By the time I was done in the military, I'd been operating A2 Bradleys and M1 tanks in Iraq. It was after he did private contracts in Afghanistan, Aaron was diagnosed with extreme PTSD. They just don't have these on the road anymore. But he met Dave, who helped him keep a pact he made with his family. If Aaron survived on the battlefield, he'd open his own shop. I can not just focus on the past and, you know, the, you know, my guys that I lost. Um, I have a driven passion to provide that mobility, the mobility back to this called life. Together, Aaron and Dave made a plan. We wanted to give back and show people what this country was truly founded on. These. That's right. This. You know, it's making heart, something with your hand. And that plan included a name that would speak to what the shop would be about. Name Battleborn, where we came up with it, is, um, you know, it's everybody goes through a battle. Uh, our, our men and women that have served, they, uh, that they've been through their battles that they've had to make it through, survive. It's made them, you know, who they are. Same goes with every project they take on. Every old car has its own story. You ask me what the military did for me to bring back into this shop? It taught me to stand with integrity, to believe in something other than yourself. They even rescued this pooch recently from a local shelter. It was just one day before she was scheduled to be put down, giving her a new lease on life, making her part of the team here at Battleborn Customs. We're gonna go black here and kind of a monster green on the inside. And the more vehicles they restore, the more healing they do for themselves and others. Making somebody smile when they see an old beat up car they brought in here, you know, look brand new again. I mean, you can't really put a price on that. And you can't buy the camaraderie that's born at this Spring Park business either. You know, these guys aren't just saying, we help veterans and using that label to get people in the door. They're actually helping people out. Both Aaron and Dave say they put their patriotic passion into every customer who comes to them, veteran or not, and whether it's uh, to fix a bumper or to turn a handful of parts in a frame into a brand new vehicle. They're also giving back, refurbishing scooters and motorized chairs to give to veterans in need. For more information on their donor program and Battleborn Customs, you can contact them by phone or through Facebook. And go to newsforjacks.com and look for this story on our homepage. And Mary, another way that uh, these guys are like family. Every Friday, every Friday, they do a cookout right outside Battleborn Customs, uh, throw some chicken or something else on the grill, and say that they just want anyone who wants to stop by for a meal to come. You get to be part of the community. No kidding. They, they're like helping rebuild lives. Yeah, and you hear those individual stories. Yeah seems like they needed this as much as they're offering it to other people. Because they're putting their heart they are. and soul into it. Completely. You can see it in his eyes. <laughs> it's incredible. You can't miss his place of work. It is bright yellow with a giant pig on the side, as you can see, bearing a pretty unique name. However, there's something you likely don't know about this particular food truck. It's what the owner learned while he was in the Army that helped him bring something different to our city. Ken Justice spent an afternoon at this veteran-owned business on wheels to find out how the military is helping this Jacksonville native succeed in his hometown. This veteran entrepreneur is a Lee High School grad, later spent time at FSCJ, and then off to serve his country. Miles O'Kelly joined the Army, a branch that built him up 
and gave him the tools to come home and start his dream business with his brother. One pork, one chicken taco, 86 cream sauce. Welcome to Butt Hut Smokehouse. Army veteran Miles O'Kelly owns this restaurant on wheels with his brother, Jacob Bander. Hi, can I get special? And Jacob's wife, Betsy, keeps the orders from the crowd coming in. 24. It's a family affair, each adding their own special talent. We love what we do. Yes, it's barbecue, but it's not like any other. These secret sauces that simmer inside or get poured on top, they come from Jacob's own creation. It's a meal fit for a king, man. Together, the brothers put together their own unique menu. Everything's made from scratch. They're trying to bring that new, fresh flavor of barbecue to, you know, to, to Jacksonville. But before this truck opened its window for the first time to customers about a year and a half ago, Miles did something to give him the ability to realize this dream. The military did it for me. The military did great things for me, taught me a lot of things, helped me hone a lot of skills, you know, especially with this. He joined the United States Army just before turning 22. He'd been a high school football player at Lee High School, and he likes a lot of action. I told him, I was like, I just want to do the, do the high speed cool stuff. So they showed me this video of artillery, and I went to the 82nd Airborne. So I went airborne, so I jumped out of airplanes, and I shot artillery. The sergeant was stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, where he got the adrenaline rush he wanted. He also finished his business degree. 48. And when Miles left the Army, he made a little history here in the River City. We're the only food truck in Jacksonville registered with a veteran owned business. And business is off to a pretty good start. 75. We spent this three-hour lunch stop with Miles, Jacob, and Betsy as they served customer after customer from their butt hut truck parked at the foot of the Ameris Tower on the South Bank. 68. Thanks, sweetheart. In all, nearly 100 customers. Some first-timers, other returning for another try, all served with a side of whistling, <laughs> laughter, <laughs> even a little song and dance. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Moose is back with a brand new addition. Sharika Perry works in the tower, and she's a repeat customer of Butt Hut Smokehouse. That's when I tried it, like, last month. I'm like, oh, my god, this food is good. So yeah, I did know that we were going to be here. What she didn't know, a military veteran is behind it. That makes me feel really good, really good. Well, I didn't know they were veterans owned, but they're very friendly people, and the food is great. It's definitely the barbecue that draws customers like Wanda smiling over, but she's an Army veteran herself, along with her husband, and learning about Miles' military service just made the experience that much better. It makes me feel great. It's wonderful to support the veterans. Yeah, people love it. I mean, people like to support that and like to do that. And, you know, we're, I like to think we're genuinely nice people, too. So it's like, it's not just, you know, the veterans, but we're nice people, and then they, know, they find that out about us. And Miles hasn't forgotten where he came from, giving back one way he can. We fed um, the new recruits, the new soldier program. You know, for the Army wing, you sign up, they put you in a future soldier program, and you wait to go to basic training. We actually fed all them on NAS and one of their training exercises. He also has not forgotten the bonds he built back in high school. I'm really proud of him, man. He, he doing his thing. And What's it mean to you when somebody you know from high school and somebody who served your country decided to open a business here in your town? Yeah, hey, it means just what it is, the American dream. You work hard and you get what you what you work hard for. It means a lot. You know, so like, you know, when you did something, it didn't go for nothing. You know what I mean? Like, the, the time that you spent, I mean, a lot of time away from home that you spend in the military, it, it, it's kind of, it means something. You can find where Butt Hut Smokehouse will be serving next on their website or by following them on social media. We have direct links inside the story right now on the homepage on newsforjax.com. There we've also posted a longer video version of the story as well as a link to Veterans List. It's a free database of all kinds of veteran-owned businesses here in Jacksonville and across the country. Soldiers were consistently having really simple issues and, and they kept coming to me and it really just set me on this journey of, of how we could solve this problem. He's an Army veteran who learned on the battlefield, whether you're military or not, there's a lot of red tape keeping you from getting your personal legal matters handled, from divorce to child support to taxes. Now he wants to hand you the key to the courthouse, so to speak. Kent Justice is joining us to highlight this veteran-owned business here in Jacksonville that promises to give you power you've never had. Tom, the idea behind the veteran-owned business Next Gen Justice is pretty simple. Take the weight off your shoulders with a hand holding yours so that you can prove to yourself you can make your life better on your own. Right in the heart of downtown Jacksonville, tucked away just blocks from the landing, 
a storefront that promises to give you the power to handle your own legal matters quickly without all the extra hassle and expense. One of the things that was consistently happening is soldiers were having what were relatively simple legal dilemmas, but they didn't have a place to go that they could afford. And it, it really started to affect them both personally and professionally, and it really struck me as a challenge that needed to be solved. Iraq and Afghanistan veteran Derek Distonfield built this yes. business, Next Gen yes. Justice, from the needs he saw firsthand from men and women under his command in the Army. For too long, hardworking people, members of the military, have only had two options high-priced hourly providers and national faceless websites to solve their legal dilemmas and we wanted to be a new choice. A new alternative for people to solve problems in family law, estate planning, business law, even tax preparation. You would spend 10 minutes with us answering some very simple questions similar to TurboTax. Next Gen Justice has the software and the know-how to get the documents you need so you don't have to pay the added price or wait for someone else to do it for you. We empower people to represent themselves to solve their own problems. We provide them information that Florida attorneys have authored so they can learn about what they're going through. Derek came home from serving his country and he opened his first next gen justice in his hometown in New York. But seeing the same needs existed in other communities, he branched out and he found Jacksonville was a great place to expand. The Navy population, which is huge, we have working class families and we have self-motivated entrepreneurs that really need legal solutions that, that we provide. Business education workshops over there. The co-founder of the nonprofit CoLab Jax, which helps local entrepreneurs, is an Army veteran himself who joined the military because of 9-11. I was uh, with, deployed with the 82nd Airborne and attached to the United Nations peacekeeping. Jason Salvani is also a proud customer of Next Gen Justice. There's a level of understanding, whether it's spoken or unspoken, that you get with someone else who's been deployed. and. Um, Derek gets that. It's such an important thing in your life going through these changes, you know, whether it's divorce or starting your first company, um, you know, Derek provides, you know, that level of comfort, you know, that just kind of takes a weight off your shoulders. While Next Gen Justice was born from seeing the needs of service members, this business is open to everyone. It's even giving back to the community. Proof from this note, it's a thank you sent from Hubbard House which works to help people find safety from abusive situations. Hubbard House was having some challenges with their uh, temporary restraining orders. We work um, closely with the staff members there to make it seamless and anonymous and safe for them. Derek emphasizes on that point, Derek emphasizes that anyone needing a restraining order can come in free of charge, no questions asked. He said he will get the paperwork done for them. And uh, Tom and Mary, uh, Derek and the Next Gen Justice, they've got a mantra. It's a hashtag give first. He lives up to that by offering another free service. That is free business tax returns for veteran-led businesses. Again, just another way that he's helping a community, huh. really trying to pay it forward. They're trained to work in some of the most difficult environments on earth. And now they're instilling their military values in some local kids. There's a brand new sports league in town brought to life thanks to a local Navy chief and he's added others, creating what he considers his dream team. Sam's here now to take us to a football field filled with patriotism and positive role models. Sam. Very positive. In fact, these kids running play after play, learning the rules of the game. They're having a lot of fun, obviously, and they are getting direction from some pretty impressive people. This is called Gridiron Flag Football an NFL flag football league, a new one sports nation franchise that's right here in Jacksonville. It was recently started by second class petty officer. With him, he brings other members of the military who share the same two passions, a love for their country and a love for our kids. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, fans, players, coaches, refs. Your Eagles fans. Matt Huff splits his time between running Jacksonville's gridiron flag football. If they have pockets in them, they are ref shorts. And running missions. I'm a aviation rescue swimmer in the Navy. I actually fly around in the helicopters that you see kind of over top of you and over the Buckman Bridge. He's on shore duty now at NAS Jacks, preparing to retire. You made it. And wants to ensure when he stops serving our country, he continues to serve our local community. 
We want to be the best out here, and uh, we want to bring our military-esque type of discipline organization here, but we also want to provide a premier sports experience for youth. To help provide young athletes the same values the military provides him, Tell him you got to get out there. Matt's creating a unique organization. I keep a list of uh, a list on my phone called the Dream Team, and everyone I come in contact with um, that I would want to work with in the future, I've wrote them down and I've contacted them. His Dream Team, made up of service members he's met along the way, Time out, Falcons! all have fought for our way of life and can help pass the right values on to the next generation. Go, 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 go. Philosophy, if you want to do something, do it the best. On each field, referees with real world experience. We go around and hunt for hostile submarines. Navy sonar tech Tony Parker got the Dream Team call. First down, midfield to go. And as the famous Jerry Maguire movie quote goes, go, go. Matt Hattie, Matt, hello. When he first suggested it, I was like, I'm in. You don't have to say anymore. So it's for the kids. Just teach them the right way to go and just come out and have some fun, learn about teamwork. And that's what we do as a military is teamwork. Cowboys, second and goal. And this is first class petty officer James Hay. He actually instructed Matt years ago at helicopter school. He also made Matt's dream team list. I like working with kids, just to have that role model. Some of the kids don't have role models in their life. James often refs for the youngest group in the league, the five to six year olds. First down, Falcons! Giving advice. Touchdown, Cowboys! Buddy, good run. And support. Refs like to step in, will help out, help the coaches that are on the field, give them a little bit of pointers on what to do. All of the refs out here have their own military experience to share and parents like it. It actually is, uh, it makes me feel really good. Trevor Chase's son plays center, and with 12 years of military service, this Army National Guardsman finds this league to be a perfect fit. The camaraderie, everybody's out, out here, the, it's still a brotherhood. And Matt's dream team, it expands off the field as well. I always said that if I ever was to open up a business, I'm gonna find those barbecue guys. And he did. Beyond the cheering parents, <laughs> Parked just behind the main tent. Make sure you check out Wits Pit Barbecue. Army veteran Derek Whitaker and his brother Tarek's food truck. Wits Pit Barbecue, veteran owned, out there every Saturday to serve. We came up with this. We always wanted to serve the children's population and the military population. And right now, we just happen to be lucky enough to be able to do both at one time. Certainly a dream team off the field and on. Look out. Get up, Jay. Also on Matt's dream team, his wife Jamie, his three children, and fellow rescue swimmer and referee Alex Maws. Matt says he couldn't have done any of this without them, and they're also all instrumental as they prepare for the fall season, which starts September 24th. Fall registration for gridiron, flag football, and cheer is underway for ages 5 to 15. You know, these sports are open for all kids Military or not, in fact. And in fact, many are not military. They're just getting some of the benefits of having the same positive military role models. Mm -hmm. And Matt tells us that he's excited because in January, he's going to add full court legends NBA basketball wow, as well. Fantastic. Wow. But we'd be remiss if we didn't say that our, uh, one of our special projects producers, J Jody Mormon, who put this story together, had a real passion for it. But I also thought Joe Drum edited it beautifully. It is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we want to get the name of the little ball carrier wearing the Atlanta Falcon shirt. Yeah. He, Give that the shot, Friday highlights. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thanks a lot, All Sam. Right.